Joining us now is Donald Trump's son, Eric Trump. Eric, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Big night ahead in New Hampshire. Would it be safe to say you think your father is going to win? I, I mean, if he does, in your mind, is it on to the general election and the primary is over? Yeah, let's say, I mean, we have tremendous momentum. Obviously, you saw what happened in Iowa, where the largest margin of victory ever in that state was 12 points. My father won by 31 points. And, you know, now I've been at all the polling locations, you know, around the state today. The energy is incredible. Uh, the, the energy is absolutely incredible in, in New Hampshire. I think we're going to have a great night tonight. Um, and I do really think it is on to the general election. I mean, at the end of the day, Nikki Haley didn't, she, she never filled out the paperwork in Nevada or something happened. So she's not even part of the caucus in a couple weeks. And then you go to South Carolina, her home state, and my father's polling at five to one um, in, in her home state of, of South Carolina. And then we go to uh, Super Tuesdays, you know very well, and my father's outperforming in every single one of those states. So I, I think her road to victory is non-existent, um, you know, assuming a, you know, a, a victory tonight. And, um, and I think at the end of the day, we, we have to turn our attention to Joe Biden, who's single-handedly the worst president in the history of this country. Uh, Haley, as I imagine you know, has said a few times now, the race is down to one fella and one lady, and that two 80-year-olds should not be running for office. On, on the trail this weekend, uh, your dad appeared to confuse Haley for Nancy Pelosi. How do you explain this confusion uh, when he said Haley was in charge of security at the Capitol on January 6th? My father's an incredible man. Uh, he's incredible. He's bright. He's got more energy than any person I know. He, he runs circles, and I think you know this too because... You have teams of people around him every single day. He runs circles around the media. He runs circles around people that are third his age. He's, he's a remarkable human being. Um, he's got the brains. He's got the toughness uh, to do the job. He'll do the job better than any human being. And, and we need somebody to do that job. We need toughness right now. We need a fighter in the Oval Office. He's a remarkable man. He's at the top of his game. And, uh, and again, as a son, I'm incredibly proud of him. Uh, understood, uh, but I do want to go back to that moment because, as you know, Haley is really saying that this is an issue of his mental fitness. You know, I have parents who are now 78, and, and they do have some, some questions sometimes or confusion sometimes, and I, I do think that it is a legitimate point of hers to say this is a really big issue if you're confusing me with Nancy Pelosi. Uh, Lindsay, in all fairness, I mean, my father just beat her by 31 points in Iowa. Um, is going to beat her again tonight. Um, you know, she forgot to put her name on a on a ballot on a you know on a caucus in in Nevada. I wouldn't exactly say that was uh, you know um, e using the breast of her brain power um, to say the least. But um, you know, we can stop with those games. I think this race is going to be over tonight. Um, my father's a remarkable person. He's done great things for this country. He's the last person um, that needs to be doing this job. He does it because he, he cares about red, white, and blue. Um, his life would be exponentially better if he was sitting at Mar-a-Lago uh, with his grandkids, having a great time. Uh, he wants to save our nation. Our nation is a nation in decline. Everybody sees it. Trump has spread discredited questions about Nikki Haley's eligibility to be president. Um, she is eligible. He's, he's mocked her, her birth name. Um, why do you think he's, he's doing that? Why take that approach? I mean, we know she was born in South Carolina. She's uh, eligible to, to run for, for president. So why question her that criteria? You know, Lindsay, every one of these questions is just kind of like a race to the bottom. It's a race to the bottom of the bucket. And, you know, it's, it's uh, we don't need to do this before. You know, we, we've got three hours left of voting. Let, let the people of this country, you know, make a decision. You know, at the end of the day, there's, there's two people. Um, so far, one of them has pulled way ahead. Uh, I think he's going to pull even farther ahead tonight. Um, but honestly, in, in, in the eve of, you know, people voting, I, I just don't think there's a need to go down that, you know. Uh, you know, it's something that the media wants to do. Uh, they do it for ratings. Uh, they also no, make Eric, this that's not really fair. Ratings. That's not fair. Your dad has, has made this an issue. I mean, just as, as recently as yesterday, he was questioning wherever she's from, which is which is a quote. So I understand if you don't want to talk about it, but I do yeah. think it's it's fair. It's not like the media is just making this stuff up. Your dad has has put that out there. But but that aside, I would like to ask: Do you have any sense at all if he would consider Nikki Haley as a VP or, or Ron DeSantis potentially? Yeah, you know, I, I think that's his call to make. Um, I wouldn't personally hope so. I, you know, I, I, I saw her when she was in the administration. Every time the, the wind would blow a little bit to the right or the left, she'd go, you know, running for the hills. And so, you know, um, it wouldn't be my first choice to, to put it mildly. And I'm not sure if it would be my father's. In fact, I think he came out pretty strongly the other night and said that, you know, that wasn't exactly in the cards. But I can tell you he'll, he'll find somebody great. And, Eric, just last question for you. Uh, whether they're uh, right or not or whether the prosecution is, is fair or not, the persecution as it's been described, um, your dad yeah. does have another number of court cases that he's facing. 
he will have to spend a lot of this election cycle in court. Do you think as a result of that that his pick for VP has more meaning potentially than prior elections uh, so that that person can really be out on the campaign trail for them? Well, he's always been a great multitasker, and I think he's proving it right now. And, and I appreciate you saying whether it's fair or not. I, I mean, I can tell you as a son, it's not been fair. Um, you know, the second he got into office, they came at him with the, the sham Russia investigation. You know what happened there. Impeachment one, impeachment two. Uh, obviously, he won both of those. They went after Supreme Court justices. Then when he came out of office, they weaponized every radical AG and DA's office in the country to go after him, you know, with the hopes of keeping him off the ballot. And, you know, when that didn't work, they started removing his name in Colorado. And when that didn't work, they removed his name in Maine. And, you know, it, it's it, it's so desperate and the entire country sees through it. Well, Eric Trump, I know it's a big night, so I greatly appreciate you spending this time with us. I know you may not like all the questions, but I do have a lot of respect for you taking uh, each question a as it came and, and really appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.